going to work on my journal cover again today. I put a coat of decoupage over the tissue background. And this is the quilted side. And I think what I'm going to do, I have this overlap here, and I think I'm going to glue it down here. I really do like that. It'll cover up my little pair of scissors, but I like how the text goes over. And you know what? I really like the decoupage on this tissue paper. I really like the texture of it and the feel of it. That might be something that I'll do for other projects. However, there's something more that I'm going to do. And I don't want to scare you guys, but <laughs> I like Crazy Quilt. I really do like this. But I want something else. I want something a little more artsy. I mean, well, what's more artsy than this? Look, I've been playing with my paints. Um, so I've been experimenting. And here's what I think I'm going to do. You know how much I love gold? Well, I've been putting gold, a gold layer over that, this. And I think I'm going to do it over the whole thing. And this will still allow some of the pattern to show through. Like, I can still see my stitches. And I can still see the patterns of the fabric. But it just, it gives that whole unifying layer to where this whole thing will be a gold layer. To where Crazy Quilt is, well, it's Crazy Quilted. It's all different sh shades and colors and it's kind of incongruous. I want something that's pulled together. So I think what I'm going to do, I really do think I like this. And I am using gold screen printing ink. It's almost empty. I'm going to have to find some more. <laughs> um, so I think that I'm going to do this, and then I'll come back again and give it a, another layer of decoupage because this is water soluble. changed it hasn't it it just gives it that unifying layer of color and of course I like gold and yet you can still see the patterns and the stitches behind it and it's taken away from the crazy quilt aspect and lent more of a of an artistic aspect to it uh, taken away from that homey crazy quilty. <laughs> Even though it is crazy quilty, it's like you took grandma's crazy quilt and dipped it in gold. <laughs> Which something could be something that I would very well do. Good thing that she's not around. Now I'm going to put a layer of decoupage around this and I'm also going to decoupage these tissues, the ends of these tissues down on the front of it. My book cover is all dry. I am really happy with it. I really do like this. I love this tissue paper with the gold layer, the gold wash over, and I can still see the stitches running through it. And that decoupage gives it a really nice, strong 
almost a vinyl-like feel to it. Remember, this was this was freezer paper and fabric. Now here is the opposite side, and I also gave that a gold wash, and I am really happy with this too. I like gold because I have blue and red and silver and black, but I wanted something that would allow the designs to show through, and I think that the gold was probably the best choice for that as far as the transparency. So I'm very happy with this. I did fold the tissue paper over the edges. I had to trim the book cover a little to get the this edge, but it just worked out fine. I finished it. I finished it. I have Midori style banding around here. This is just a light elastic. I wrapped it around several times, tied it here, tied the two ends there so that they'll fit around like this, very loosely, and that's my closure. I found that on the ends here, that these were slipping off of the spine, so I put a strip of E6000 on both sides. It's a little discolored there, but maybe I can sew a charm or something on there. That really doesn't bother me for this. You open it up, and I have several signatures. Every signature has two page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have 16, 16 pages, eight signatures. The pages are just short of eight inches. They're seven and a half inches, so they're 15 inches long because that's the size of paper I had, 15 by 11, and I cut it down to 10 inches. So my pages are seven and a half by 10 instead of eight by 10. But that's okay because I intend on pulling these out and working on double pages. And I'll probably not do watercolor. I'll probably do some type of mixed media on here. So this score line in here will not matter so much to me. It'll probably get painted over or, or worked over, collaged over, something like that. I'm very happy with it. Here's my spine. You, you, you can see right in here. I was going to use that plaid product called gallery glass, but I couldn't find any that I have that's thick enough, so I used some clamshell packaging that I had on hand and used that instead. This was just sort of an impromptu journal. This was, I, I really don't have a use for it right now, except I'll probably be doing mixed media work in it. I, I made it because I found this piece of scrap fabric that I had stitched onto a piece of freezer paper. And I wanted to do something with it. I'm very, very happy with this. I think this is just going to probably be one of my more fun journals to work in. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next page.